Hey y'all, so I thought I'd do a little update. Um, we cooked our wood ears up last night and I had some left over and just didn't want to have them again so uh, we strung them up to dry. Now this is one of the oldest ways of preserving mushrooms and any other thing is drying it obviously, you know, dehydrating it. And there's lots of ways that you can dehydrate. Um, you can, especially with mushrooms, you can use the box fan method or you can use a dehydrator or you can put an oven at like 135 or 150, something like that and lay them out on a pan, you know, basic dehydration. But if you do it with the sun and like this, and hopefully these guys didn't pack in here too tight, you got to make sure it, it could take about two days for this to dry and you want it crispy dry like it should break. But um, one thing about doing it in the sun is mushrooms will absorb vitamin D and vitamin D is important for a lot of things and I'm not going to get into it too much but um, there's a reason they give cancer patients a lot of vitamin D when they're treating them for cancer and um, you know there's a correlation there so take your own time and do your own research and check that out but you can dry a lot of things like this I've got peppers inside that I've dried I've got, uh, well I don't have any beans yet we'll be doing some leather bridges for long and uh, it's just a good way, it's nice and simple, just a little needle, thread, string them up, let them dry. And once they get dry, like I said, if after two days they still are a little, these are real soft, I just took them out of the fridge. But after two days, if they're still flexible, if they don't break, really, when you do it, and then there's still too much moisture in there, and you can probably just lay them on a baking sheet and put them in your oven for just a little bit. It won't take nowhere near as long because they're mostly dry. After that, you want to put them in a cool, dark place. So, I mean, it doesn't really have to be like cool, cool, like room temperature is would be okay as long as it doesn't stay too hot. Um, you want to put them like in a jar with a lid to where moisture can't get back in there to them and they're not exposed to a lot of light. And you can just throw them in a cabinet or something. Pretty simple. Preserving mushrooms. Like I said, you can do a lot this way. Stay Appalachian, stay native. Okay, so we left our wood ears in the sun all day and look how great that color is they've still got a little more drying to do now this is the next day now i didn't leave them outside overnight i just now bought them out again um, because we don't want the dew moisture to rehydrate them overnight so it like i said it takes about two days and after the day they'll be about perfect and the color the color just looks amazing these dried so well i'm so tickled now again after you dry um, you'll have to store them in a container and they don't need to be exposed to light constantly You don't want to like put them in a mason jar and sit them on your shelf because I wish I could because they look kind of cool But I have to kind of tuck them back in a corner or something where there's not a lot of light and uh, I'll come and do a little update this evening and show you exactly what they look like when they're completely dry They've got a little bit of flexibility to them now still just a little bit it should crisp and kind of break off and if you're having trouble and it doesn't seem like they want to dry it all the way and you've got them this far, you can lay them in your oven, take them off, spread them out, uh, make sure they're not overlapping, lay them in your oven on the lowest setting and just kind of finish them off. It doesn't even hurt to keep the oven cracked a little bit. You don't need a lot of heat. You can put them in front of a fan and speed this process up too. But these are doing so well and we're not in a rush. We're just going to let it soak up all that vitamin D 